UK airlines told to avoid Belarusian airspace after journalist arrest. Beyond the diplomatic track, we are actively considering and coordinating with our allies on further sanctions on those responsible for this outlandish conduct. To ensure the safety of air passengers, I have also worked with the Transport Secretary to issue a notice to all UK airlines to cease overflights of Belarusian airspace and to suspend the operating permit on the Belarusian airline Belavia with immediate effect. That is, of course, the only airline that flies readily between the UK and Belarus, uh, but in order to be sure and, uh, and as a precautionary measure, the UK Civil Aviation Authority will be instructed not to issue any further ad hoc permits to any other carriers flying between the UK and Belarus. Finally, Mr Speaker, we continue to support civil society and media freedoms in Belarus. We provided over £1 million in 2020 and in this financial year we are providing an additional £1.8 million. I know the whole House will join me in condemning unequivocally this reprehensible action under the Lukashenko regime. The UK will stand firm in protecting freedom of the media, upholding international law and maintaining the safety of international civil aviation. The UK government has told airlines to avoid Belarusian airspace after a Ryanair flight was diverted to Minsk and an opposition journalist arrested. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps tweeted that the move was necessary to keep passengers safe. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab told MPs the interception of the flight was a shocking assault on civil aviation. Dissident journalist Roman Protasevich, 26, was removed from the plane and arrested at Minsk airport on Sunday. Belarus scrambled a fighter jet to force the plane, which was traveling from Athens in Greece to Vilnius, Lithuania, to land in the Belarusian capital after saying there had been a bomb threat. Police took Mr. Protasevich away when passengers disembarked. Mr. Shapps said he has also suspended the operating permit of Belarus state airline, Belavia, effectively banning it from the UK. The airline's timetable shows it operates a three times weekly flight from Minsk to London's Gatwick Airport. Meanwhile Mr Raab told the House of Commons the interception was a shocking assault on civil aviation and an assault on international law. He added that further sanctions were being considered against Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko's regime and that the country's ambassador in London had been summoned so the UK could convey its condemnation of these acts. The Foreign Secretary also called for the release of Mr. Protasevich from the spurious charges he faces. Mr. Lukashenko's regime must be held to account for such reckless and dangerous behaviour, Mr. Raab added. He said the UK was working to explore every potential diplomatic option and was actively considering and coordinating with our allies on further sanctions on those responsible for this outlandish conduct. Labour's shadow Foreign Secretary Lisa Nandy condemned Belarus' act of modern piracy, which she said had amounted to a state hijacking, and was an assault on the freedoms of the air and on freedom of speech. She added, unless the consequences are swift, robust and coordinated it will create an extraordinarily dangerous precedent that will put journalists, dissidents and activists from the UK or anywhere else at risk every time they board a plane. Conservative MP Tom Tugendhat, Chairman of the Commons Foreign Affairs Select Committee, urged the government to call for the suspension of energy pipelines in Belarus. He welcomed the government's new rules on flights, and asked Mr Raab if he would go one step further and call for a suspension of the Nord Stream 2 and Yamal energy pipelines that run through Belarus, which is where the money comes from that supports this tyrannous regime. Mr. Raab said on Nord Stream and other possibilities that we will consider and consult with our partners and see what further action they are willing to take as well. The incident has attracted widespread criticism from across the European Union, with countries calling for the immediate release of Mr. Protasevich and a full investigation. Ryanair chief executive Michael O'Leary told Irish News Talk Radio earlier that the interception was a case of state-sponsored hijacking, state-sponsored piracy. It appears the intent of the authorities was to remove a journalist and his travelling companion, we believe there were some KGB agents offloaded at the airport as well, Mr O'Leary added. A spokesperson for the UK Civil Aviation Authority said following the government's decision it had suspended all foreign carrier permits held by Belarusian air carriers until further notice, a move which applies to scheduled and charter operators. 
The Civil Aviation Authority has also issued a notice to all UK-registered airlines requesting that they avoid overflight of any territory of the Republic of Belarus, the spokesperson added. Thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV. Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment. See you in next video. Stay tuned.